I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Does it happen? Yeah. I watched I watched it happen. I see it happening. And if they're not there, they're coming out of the liquor store, pouring a bottle into their thermos so they can be drinking it outside while they're up on said bucket ladder thing, right? <laughs> this is, uh, I, well, I'm sure there are safety inspectors that go out. Yeah. And and they're looking to get promoted. And they don't want to know, say that half their crews are, are crappy. And these guys are, you know, let them take their union approved demanded break times. And let's just, you know, it's cold up there in the truck. Way we all did it, right? All right, guys, like just keep it to a dull roar and don't get me in trouble. Okay. And then that person's supervisor is glad that he's not the one that has to go out and make site visits anymore. So he's just happy that Tony's going to do that. So he doesn't have to do it anymore. And he's just like, are the guys like relatively going on? We haven't anybody get electrocuted in a while. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, all right, keep them happy. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then that person's supervisor was a woman who got promoted there, right? And she's lucky. She doesn't want to be looking like a DEI hire now. And so she wants to show her competence and she's got everything locked down. But she also knows that all of these guys that she got hired over, it is a man's world with the with these linemen. And so she wants to fit in. So she's not going to bust too many chops. So she's like, hey, yeah, let the boys have their B-boys and we're all good. We're good. And then that thing drops on a school bus as it's going through the intersection and it makes the news and